The next scan type I wanted to go through is a web application scan. And of course, there's a built in policy for doing web application tests. But just to show you some of the things behind that policy, I wanted to create a new one. Now, they're essentially, I break it down into two different uh, categories. The We can scan web applications for known vulnerabilities. These are vulnerabilities that have been published. There's a CVE number associated with it. Someone found this vulnerability, they disclosed it, and we wrote a plugin to check for it. So this is the easiest policy to create. And you've got to enable a couple of different options to, to allow Nessus to do this. So I've gone in here, and basically the first thing it is, I told it to focus on 80 and 443. And that's just so that my scan runs a little quicker. Now if a web server is running on a different port, you can leave that port scan range to default. Nessus will find web servers and, and scan them on all different ports. I just am targeting this at port 80 and port 443. Um, coming down into the plugin section, when I do web application scanning, I enable these two different plugin families. Okay, These are all of the CGI vulnerabilities that um, Nessus can scan for. Okay, So you can see the enabled plugins, there's almost 3,500 plugins that uh, can check for known vulnerabilities in web applications. Now when you enable those two families, there's a couple of things you have to do in the preferences here. I come down to the global variable settings. I enable CGI scanning, which has to be checked. And I find that the uh, plugins run more thoroughly and will find more vulnerabilities if you enable experimental scripts and thorough test slow, which I've done here. The other thing I do is I say, hey, Nessus, when you find a website and you're looking to see which pages exist on there to test them, I click this go into web mirroring and I tell Nessus follow dynamic pages which means it will spider the site um, that it's uh, scanning. So come back in here into reports, uh, see if I can find my scan that I've run before. So here I'm scanning for uh, web application known vulnerabilities and I found all these different vulnerabilities against my target. It says hey you've got a vulnerable version of PHP my admin um, and you know, it has this CV associated with it and we found that condition and Nessus will actually test that condition. The other thing you can do with Nessus, so that's known vulnerabilities and you can run that against all your web servers and, and find uh, all the vulnerabilities they contain. I want to come in here and show you a policy that I, I custom created for a web app called Damn Vulnerable Web App. So this policy is meant to find previously unknown vulnerabilities and we use a technique called fuzzing so we take a parameter and we throw a bunch of strings against it and see if it's vulnerable to cross-site scripting so here I've con custom configured a policy to be able to log into a web application which has been created to contain vulnerabilities that's why they call it damn vulnerable web app um, I've enabled a subset of plugins so when you're doing fuzzing enable a subset of plugins here um, and these plugins begin with, um, see if I can go down here, CGI generic. So all plugins that are supporting fuzz testing or previously unknown vulnerabilities begin with CGI generic, right? So I added a filter, does my plugin name um, contain CGI generic? Save. So that'll run the filter, and then I've just enabled those those plugins in both CGI abuses and CGI abuses cross-site scripting. Okay. Now I've gone into my preferences, uh, global variable settings, made sure enable CGI scanning is enabled. Then I've gone in and enabled web application tests. So web application tests enabled the fuzzing. Go in and check this box. Okay. Refer the documentation for what those other fields mean. I don't necessarily want to get into all the details in, in this particular video. Um, but they control how hard Nessa should try when it fuzzes your um, applications. Okay. The other thing is your web application may contain authentication. So I've told Nessa, hey Nessa, here's how you log into the application in those fields right there. I've also said, hey, if you get logged out, um, let's check for that condition. Every 30 seconds, go hit this page right here go to that page and look for this text and if you see that text you're logged into the application if you're not use the information I gave you up here and go log back in so we can make sure we don't get logged out the other thing we can do is we can import cookies so if it, the application does require a cookie to operate uh, appropriately you can export that and upload it into Nessus so then you go in and you launch that scan 
and you get some results. And you will see here, for example, um, you'll find CGI generic SQL injection has been found. And you can come in here and look at the results and say, hey, you know, we, in this parameter, we sent this string. And what we got back was some database commands um, and errors, which means that we were able to inject SQL into a particular parameter. So that is web application scanning as it exists in Nessus today.